This time of year, one of the most popular words that we hear being thrown around all the time is the word motivation. Finding your motivation to get fit, finding your motivation to, you know, pay the bills on the table, finding your motivation to get some continuing education in your life. Motivation, motivation, motivation. And I think the hardest thing for us to sometimes wrap our hands around is what does motivation even mean? Um, and why do some people have tons of it and I have none? <laughs> so I just want to have a conversation with you about motivation motivation and really kind of how it affects us here in the gym. Most of us start with a health and fitness goal that is uh, propelled by motivation, meaning you went to the doctor. They told you that if you don't lose some weight or get your blood pressure under control or add it to the list, that there's going to be a situation greater than the one that you're currently in. So your motivation at that point is to get started with health and fitness to help uh, you know, fix that problem. The hard part is, is, is that that motivation might be hot right out the gate, but it's keeping it long term so that you can find the success that you're looking for. Because unfortunately, when our motivation kicks in today, that you want to be healthier and live a better lifestyle, uh, you know, it's hard to keep that fire going because the goal that we have might be something that's gonna take us a long period of time to achieve. So how do we keep motivation going over time is kind of what it is that we, we need to think about. So I would challenge you to stop thinking about needing to be motivated. Okay, none of us are motivated, <laughs> especially when it comes to the gym, right? We just don't want to. And there's a lot of reasons why. It's hard, it's hard to come work out at the gym, okay? I, I hear you. Two, when you work out, you might see that, oh my God, I'm way more out of shape than I initially thought, or this is just not what I wanna be doing. I'm tired, I've had a long week, and I'm just not interested in doing it. So we know that those things, those thoughts are gonna come into our head. So it's important when you start thinking about how you're gonna approach your fitness to put some standards and process so that when those thoughts come into your brain, you have a way to override it. So let's just talk about a couple quick things. Number one, you need to schedule your fitness, okay? I'm old school, I have a day planner. When I start planning my week as far as what needs to happen, I'm writing in the days that I am going to be doing uh, my strength workouts. I'm also putting in the days that I'm going to be focusing more on stretching and doing more of a relaxing uh, type workout or the days that I might just go in for a walk. So I love doing that. Writing it down keeps us more committed. Number two, I think that we have a hard time creating smaller goals for ourselves, meaning you might write down, I'm gonna work out five times this week, and I'm gonna high five you and say, that's great, I'm so excited that you wanna work out five times this week, but are you working out five times right now? Because if you're not, you're creating a goal that's bigger than what you're currently doing. And unfortunately, if something happens in your life that week and you're unable to get to your five workouts that you committed to yourself, you are gonna feel like a failure. It happens to us all the time. We overcommit, something happens, okay? You're like, oh, this is so annoying, I can't do it. We feel frustrated and move on. So what I'm gonna ask you to do is start with a smaller goal and after we start accomplishing that, then I want you to make it bigger. So if you haven't been moving, I want you to say, listen, I'm going to try to get my, my goal this week is to get to the gym twice. Maybe you want to push it up a notch. All right, great. Add three. Okay. You want to push it up one more time? Give me four. But what I don't want you to do is create a goal that's much greater than what it is that you're already doing. Cause what I want to not have happen is, is that you see that you didn't succeed with that and now it's a double failure for you. So start with smaller steps. Smaller steps give us bigger successes along the way. So after you've created your plan of your workout dates and how often you're gonna be coming, the next thing that you have to think about is what's going to happen when you had a bad day, maybe you didn't sleep well last night, and you wanna bail on your commitment. It's important to really think about that because that happens. <laughs> it happens to all of us, okay? We all struggle with that 
motivation to keep it going. And what you we need to know is, is that you, you are going to have to fight. There are days that you're gonna want to stay in bed because especially this time of year, it's cold, it's rainy, the sun's not out, and you're just not having it. But I need you to kind of have a plan in place so that if you do roll over and you wake up that morning and you're just not feeling it, that you can say, okay, Jillian, you committed to two workouts this week, okay? And you said Saturday was the day that we were gonna do it. So we need to get out of bed and we need to get that booty moving so that we can stay committed to our goal. You need to know that it's not going to be easy. We hear all this information all the time about, you know, all you got to do is this and that and the motivation and it's just there and you're going to love it. Uh, the honest truth is, is the motivation's not going to be there and it's going to be hard and it's going to be difficult. So you need to have a plan in place so that you can help yourself overcome yourself when those things kind of happen. My favorite thing to do is to set, set small goals. So maybe for the month of January and February, you're gonna work 60 days, coming in twice a week. Okay, you're gonna hit that, right? Every single time that you do that, that is a high five, and maybe you put a sticker on your day planner because you accomplished that. But the treat that I'm gonna get after I've done that is maybe I'm gonna let myself uh, get a facial, or maybe I'm going to get a massage or a, a purse that I've been looking at. You have to have littler goals over a bigger span of time so that you can see the success that you're looking for because motivation isn't gonna be there forever. I am here for you. If you need help and support or have questions, you want uh, to sit down and discuss what your 2023 goals are, let's come up with sh some short-term ones. Let's come up with some long-term ones. I know that you can do this and you need to know that I have your back doing this. I love supporting you and I love helping you be your best self. So please, if you need help or an attention, reach out and we'll get you an appointment today.